This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Garrett versus McNeil. You all are engaged. You've been together for 20 years, and the court file shows you've been engaged three times. Is yes, that correct? Fake, fake. Three times. Mm-hmm. And this is going to be the last time if you find out he's cheating. Absolutely. All right, you brought this case today. Tell me what's at stake here. Well, Your Honors, um, been with my fiance for 20 years. We have three beautiful children. We've had three fake proposals. And he's cheated on me three times, as far as I know. So we're gonna find out today. The ring is gone, just like this relationship is gonna be gone. If I find out today that he has cheated again. So you out. <laughs> you see the look on her face? I do. Her? She ain't playing. She is serious. I mean, I see, yeah. And she's already throwing away the ring. <laughs> All right, Mr. McNeil, how are you, sir? Fine. Tell me why you are here. I'm here to prove to my wife that I love her <laughs> and my kids and that I'm not a cheater. And I do have a lot of besties that <laughs> I like chilling with. All right, I'm getting a comment from a... Yes, my I'm not his wife. We're not married. You're saying your fiance? Yes. And you say you have a lot of besties? Yes. Okay, besties, that, I saw that in the court file. Everybody's your bestie. Yes. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> you said that was cheating in the past at least three times. Tell me what happened. Okay, in the past, well, he has a child. That okay. is uh, the same as my other one. I asked him about it, because I got a notice that she was having a child. I asked him, did you cheat on me? Do you have a girl pregnant? No, she just you know, uh, gave me oral copulation. That's the word? Uh, sure. Oral sex. I'm sorry, I use that word, and I don't know that real word. Okay, but, yeah, that's what he, he told me, and I said, mm, uh, you know I graduated high school, and right. you know your, your, your soccer kids and your uterus is two different places. So, Mr. McNeil, how does this woman that you're involved with get pregnant just through oral sex? That was in the past. <laughs> okay. That still doesn't explain the biology of it. I cheated. You, so you, you're admitting... I cheated, yes. You admit okay. that. You didn't come clean when you asked me about it, but you have come clean since then. Yes. Okay, so why did you take him back after all that? Well, Your Honor, I have been grounded in the church, so okay. I believe deeply about family and forgiving. You took him back? Yes. Why do you believe that he's cheating now? There, oh my goodness, there's so many reasons. I brought evidence for one. You, can I go? Can I go? Oh, why don't you step yes. over to the monitor? Yes, please. Remember this. Think about this. Remember this. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting at home. I'm talking to my sister on the phone. Bring, bring, bring. Phone picks up. I'm answering. Hello? Hello? Can I speak to Benny? I'm like, I'm sorry, he's not here right now. Can I take a message? See how nice I am, right? Uh, that's how I was on the phone. So, about <laughs> half an hour later, Phone call rings again. Hello? She's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but is Benny there? I'm like, no, who is this? She was like, um, I know you his aunt, and he said that you don't like um, people calling for him. His what? His, his... You... She said you his aunt? Yeah. He told uh -huh. her I was his aunt. Oh. That, don't call there because I will... Because I don't like him having phone calls. I said, so where you at, baby? She said, I'm at the train station. Well, baby... I'm gonna come meet you because I don't know where he at. And I need to see him make sure that he meets you. So went down there and I goes to her and I'm like, you so and so? She was like, yeah. I said, trust me, I'm not his aunt, but I am his baby mom. I said, but I'm not the type of girl that jump on the girl. I'm gonna sit over here, you sit over there, and we're gonna wait for Benny to come up. So we sitting there and I'm just sitting and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. So, so I'm waiting for Benny to show up. Okay, okay. Wait so, so Ms. Garrett, so that's you, and that's the other woman, and you all are at the train station, and you're just waiting. Uh, oh, I'm waiting. You're waiting. So tell me what happened. I can't wait. So then Benny comes pulling up. So when Benny <laughs> comes pulling up, <laughs> I, I told the little, I told her, okay. So she walks over, and then as she's about to almost get to him, I step up, and I walk over. He comes and grabs me, told me some, come on, Nicole, try to turn me around. Come on, Nicole, come on. I'm like, oh. You remember that, right? Okay. So, I was like, I was like, no, where you going? I was like, that girl calling you. He's like, ain't nobody calling me. He was like, no, nah, no. Nah. He was like, I don't know her. Oh, you know her. Because this is the second time that something like that happened. It wasn't exactly that, ex that uh, example. So, she's but calling him 
Oops. Yeah. Hey, hey, and Oops. he's walking. Right. He doesn't even acknowledge her. He doesn't acknowledge her. I acknowledge her because I'm a female. Did he say anything to her? No. Not until I made him. I walked past because I was shocked that Nicole and her was together. I I know you were. So so I was trying, I was trying, I was trying to, I was trying to run. I I think shock don't even begin to to describe what you felt when you pulled up and you saw your fiance and your other woman there together. Looking at you, looking at them, looking at you. It was like, it was really like a movie, because I was like. Were you sleeping with this other woman? No. Okay. Have you ever slept with this other woman? We all in one accord. He lied. No. Okay, you got a button. We can yeah, put you have you had any lying. kind of relations with this woman? No. Nothing ever happened. No. Can we go to the next one then? Because I can name other plates other times. Miss <laughs> Garrett, have you caught it with any other women? Just recently, we got, you know, he got another child. We got this one, right? Then we got one just recent. We sitting at home watching a movie. He, now his phone is always on vibrate all of a sudden. Okay, mm-hmm. so his phone is on vibrate. We talking, he gets up, he goes to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, no big deal, who thinks, nobody thinks nothing, right? So I get up, I go to the bathroom too. So when I get to the bathroom, I hear a shower running. So I pause, I listen, and I hear, well, you gonna do me like that? And then I hear, lower it. And then I hear, well, you gonna give me some? So. <laughs> I knocks on the door. He like, wait a minute, it's me. Open the door. Why the door lock? So he's like, oh, oh I use a bathroom. He go run out. Oh, wait a minute. What was that on the phone? I, I was talking to a friend. A friend. <laughs> what were a you friend. talking to your friend about? My friend was showing me something that I feel like it would have been disrespectful if I'd have seen it next to her. What was that? Breast. That your friend was showing you their breast. Yeah. Cause you got any friends that do that? No. You bet not. Bet not. <laughs> and so you felt it would be disrespectful uh, for you to look at your friend's breast you, while you sitting next to your fiance. Yes. Okay. Wow, he's so a you polite went, one. He's, no, he's, he's, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I got breasts. I'm a yes. female. Look, I, I got look. And I'm, I'm well down, right? Like, come on now. That's, that doesn't make no sense. 20 years, 20 years. The but, best years of my life. 20 years. I'm 40 years old. I've got time to get playing with him. We were supposed to get married over three different times. Three. And that hadn't happened. No, he proposed to me in church. Now, sacred religious, like, come on now. How you gonna propose to me in church and don't really mean it? My wedding gown is in the box. And you he's just doing all, He's proposing to you and he's looking at some other woman's breasts. So, Mr. McNeil, yes. why are you looking at some other woman's breasts and why are they showing you their breasts? Through, through uh, my lifetime, I had a lot of Friends, you know, my friends sometimes want to show me things and stuff like that. I mean, they she showed me them, and I went. Friends to show you a new car. <laughs> friends show you a new house. Friends, friends show you new clothes they bought. Friends don't just hey look. I mean, she is she is she is a real one of my ex friends, and she just showed me. And I now mean, it's an ex friend. She's an ex friend. You mean an ex girlfriend? No, no girlfriend. That's the ex friend. Woman in particular that you're worried about, or that he may be involved in? Any of them that he called bestie, any of them. And all these besties, Your Honor, I don't know. How we together they 20 years and them? we don't go to each other's houses, they don't come to my house, they don't call nothing, but they're your bestie. But how come I don't know? Don't, don't you know his friends? I do. So oh, if they're your oh, friends and okay. that's all they are, okay. why I don't know them? Okay. Why is that? Because she don't do what they do. She don't smoke, she don't drink. She don't gamble, she don't do nothing. So why would I want to have her around people that do this and gamble? If you're a church woman, you don't do that. Why should I want to pitch you around that? Well, why would you want to be around that? If you got a church woman, why do you want to be around that? Because listen, through through my trials and tribulations, she know what I was. Nicole know what I did. And you said was, right? So you ain't there no more. Okay, but the fact is, I still have friends. I met, I know the way before I knew you. Birds of a feather flock together. If you're doing that, that's where you go. Can I tell you something else? His besties, you know, he go out and he hang out. I'm like, well, how's you going out all the time and you say you ain't got no money? Oh, one of my besties give me money. What, what besties you know that give money all the time for you to go out to the casinos and, and stay out go? days and days at a time? Where do they go? These, these besties who give any money, where do they go? To the casino. To the casino. We go to gamble. I gamble. To the I love gambling. So you think he's cheated with some of these? He gotta be. Who get, 
What woman gives a man money to gamble with every single time? And again, how come she don't come to the house to pick him up? Why they always meeting somewhere to go? Exactly. Why they go for a day and a half? So, Mr. McNeil, yeah. so you say you at the casino. Yes. Is that somewhere you go on a regular basis? Yeah, to gamble, to try to get money for my family. How, how long do you... Ask me the money, because I ain't seen... Show me the money. How Where's long do you... When you go to the casino, how long are you there? A couple hours to, like, the next morning. So, all night you're there, yeah, yeah. basically. You believe he's with these women, sleeping with them? Yes. I ain't sleeping with Not them. Not at the casino. No. Ain't, there ain't no sex involved, man. Well, you know, I... interestingly, the court has uncovered some research. We contacted the casino that you frequent. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And in contacting the casino, we learned that they have different levels of player cards. Yeah. And what they have is one level for kind of entry-level players. We have a mid-level and they have a highest level. Mm -hmm. That's how casinos work, mm -hmm. right? And you're familiar with that, mm -hmm. right? Well, this casino, the level of card that you get is based on your wins, your losses, how much you bet, mm -hmm. and when and how long you're playing. Mm -hmm. So a player like you who's there all the time, you know, overnight, you know, steadily pumping money in, you've got to be at the highest level because that's how they base the cards, right? I, I just got a card. I just got a card. So I ain't but, gonna... But you're there often. You're playing. You're overnight. Yeah. All but, the time. But... Your besties are feeding you money. Yeah. So clearly, you've got to be at the highest level. But when we spoke to the casino... Mm, go ahead. We looked at your card, and it shows that you are just at the entry level. Not indicative of somebody who's spending all their time at the casino. All right, well, I think, Mr. Cutler, we have enough evidence. My personal favorite, the woman at the station, mm -hmm. she goes there, the young woman's there, Miss Garrett's there, Mr. McNeil is there, and when he walks off, he sees them both. Cold busted. Cold busted. Yeah, I was busted. Caught him in the bathroom, video chatting with a friend, and this friend said, look, I got something for you. And he's trying to get a banger lower, lower. He claims he goes gambling for a day, two days at a time. His besties just keep giving him money. And they don't want anything in return. And me and you both know there ain't no such thing as a free ride. And, and now his fiance thinks that she's the one that's getting played. She thinks she's being played. And I'm this 20-year relationship is it. on the line. If she finds oh. out he's cheating for a fourth time, she's out. So what have we done, Mr. Cutler? This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will hear from certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Mr. Williams, how are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you this afternoon? Doing good. You conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. McNeil, is that correct? That's correct. All right, you look nervous. I ain't nervous. Why well, I'm nervous for? I don't know. You tell I me. I don't gotta be nervous. All right. Mr. McNeil was asked, other than what your fiance, Ms. Garrett, knows about, in the past two years, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your fiance? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Your Honor, the lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Yes! I knew it! Oh, I knew it. Holy Ghost don't lie. <laughs> she is in tears. Look at her. Don't look at me. Look at her. She is in tears over your behavior, over your refusal <laughs> to tell her the truth. Mr. Color, he was my first. He was, I thought I was gonna spend my whole life with this man. I wasn't running around in the streets. This is the man that said he was gonna be with me forever. But how you gonna take my virginity, take risk my religion, everything to be with this man? Me and my dad fell out for years, me being with this man. We got three kids together. How do you do this to me? Living in my house. How do you do this to me? How? McNeil, how do you do this to me? Mr. McNeil, you haven't said a word. You owe her some explanation, some response. I apologize. Ooh. 
Is that all you got? I ain't been with nobody, but... All right. Well, you can lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. But I ain't lying. Mr. McNeil, now we know why you've got the low-level playing card. Because... <laughs> you won't come clean, and this relationship is over. Miss Garrett, I am so sorry that you got the answers you got today. I was hoping because you clearly are devoted to this man. How do you feel as you stand here? It's over. The Lord already told me. I didn't want a confirmation and affirmation. I'm done. I'm done. Well, Ms. McNeil, you gambled one too many times and you lost it all. This woman is walking out of your life. We have counseling available for you because as you continue to move forward, you have to co-parent your lovely children, and we want you to do that effectively. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good, happy relationship. Court is adjourned. Thank you.